so far. This morning has changed plans quite a bit. I was going to an area further to the north and to the west, but when I got there, I saw that there was a no trespassing sign. It was a private property. And uh, so I, this is a spot I looked up on Google Earth yesterday. And so it pays to come out to your locations beforehand. So right now I'm just trying to salvage the morning and the time that I've got until sunrise. And this spot right here looks like it could suit well. I think I'll shoot that way and get the sunlight hitting those mountains over there instead of shooting into the sun. That was my original plan was to shoot towards the sunrise. But there's no clouds this morning. There's absolutely nothing. So not a whole lot of color is gonna come from that side. But this looks pretty cool over here. And so I'm gonna see what I can do to salvage this time that I've spent to get out here and see what kind of pictures I can get. So right now I'm just waiting again for the sun to come up over there to shine on those mountains. I've been shooting this way for a little bit now and there's just no real color in the sky because of the lack of clouds. Um, some of the waves coming in look kind of cool though, so I'll keep shooting here until the sun comes up and I'll be shooting that way next. Looks like that guy wasn't lucky enough to make it. So although this location has water, which I love to photograph, um, there's just no clouds. And without clouds, the sky just takes up, basically becomes like unused space. The foreground will be interesting to the viewer, but if the sky is just one plain color, there's no clouds to look at. There's, you know, little interest there. And I bet you if you look at some of your favorite photos and analyze why you like them, there's probably some really cool clouds in the sunrise or sunset that you see. Um, so I'm trying to salvage this morning by doing a very long exposure. I actually I haven't really done this before. I'm shooting a three minute exposure right now. I'm using a 10 stop ND filter as well as a circular polarizer. Um, and so uh, I already took one test shot and it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna take a few more of these uh, super long exposures and see how they turn out. There's the light peeking over onto those mountains. I guess I better hurry so I'm not chasing the light. Well, I feel like I've gotten all I can get from this spot. The sun has come up enough, it's a little bit too bright now, and the colors are gone. And unfortunately, there was not a cloud in the sky to add to our sunrise, but I'll post one of the photos, or a few of the photos I took from this morning, so you can see how they turned out. But now, I'm gonna head up to the canyon. I'm gonna get some more photos and take advantage of this morning light. Well, I came to the canyon and now it's about two hours since sunrise and I've basically have lost all the really good light. So I didn't take any photos up here, so I'm just gonna head back and see what I got this morning from the lake. Um, it goes to show that not every photography trip I do would I consider to be successful. And sometimes that happens, you kind of just miss the light or the conditions just aren't right. I learned a lot from this trip though, this is the first time that I've done like a three minute exposure outdoors and uh, really loved how it turned out. So we'll see you guys next time.